In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool animated design in Canva all the way from scratch, including the design of the cans all the way to the end production with the animation. The tutorial I've split up into four parts. First, we make the design of the can. Secondly, we look at how we can create this custom mock-up. Then we look at creating the overall poster or presentation design. And lastly, we look at the animation part. Now, if you regularly work in Canva and want to save some time with templates, make sure to check out the link in the description below where you can find my templates. And for the first part of the tutorial, we're starting with the can design. And for that, we're starting from a blank slide. First thing we want to do is we want to change the background color to something vibrant. I'm choosing this red color with the color codes FF0558 if you want the same color. Next, I'm going to add some text to the slide. So click on title and let's call our drink fresh. So let's change the name and let's call it fresh. For the font, I'm going to use something a bit more condensed like Anton and then turn it 90 degrees. Increase it in size. Let's leave some space at the top and the bottom. And then for the font color, let's go for the same red, but then we modify it and we drag it to the left. So we have a lighter tone of that same color. I think this looks quite good. Scale it down just a bit, create a copy, drag it so it's positioned normally, reduce the size, and this I'm going to put on the bottom and let's call it pure. You can give this your name that you want, so you can use your brand or any slogan that you want. I'm calling it pure fresh. Now to add some more elements to the design to make it look realistic, I'm going to add an element and I'm going to look for grapes. I want some graphics. And here we can find different graphics in a style and I think it will fit nicely on the design. This looks a bit weird, but I think if we give it the same color, the light, and then increase it in size, and then put it somewhere towards the edge, this looks kind of cool. Let's copy it. Put it also on the top right. Increase it in size just a bit. There we go. Let's increase this font as well. Place everything nicely in the middle. There we go. I think this can do for quite a cool can design. Now we want to export it. So share, download, and then you click on download. And this is already quite a cool can design. Now let's see how we can add it to the mockup. That brings us to the second part of the tutorial, which is adding the design to the mockup. And for that, we're going to start from the website called Smart Mockups. And this is a website where you can find a lot of mockups to use. For example, we're going to go for packaging and we're choosing beverages, but you can see there's a whole range of mockups available. So in our case, go to beverages and here we can see a lot of beverages and mockups that we could use. You can filter it down to cans and this gives us quite some can options. I'm going to select this regular sized can and then you can upload your design here. Click on the button upload from and select the file that you want. Here we have our pure fresh design. The bottom looks a bit weird and the top, but you can customize that by clicking on customize scene, can color and then just take something white so we have the most natural neutral color. If you want to know the exact dimensions for your mockup, that is also something which you can find here. So if we, for example, go back to mockups, let's open that and click on any mockup that you have, this will give you the exact dimensions. So if you have your mockup, you can use these dimensions in your Canva to create the perfect size. For us, the can, it was 650 by 790. So that's how you can find it. Then once you're happy with the design, you click on download and then you can choose the medium option for the free version and then download it. Next, we jump back into Canva and then let's add it to our design. So for that, I'm going to add a new tab and I'm going for a presentation format. Here we want to upload the design that we've just downloaded. But you can see if I change the background color, it is a white background, so it still has a white background if you export it. So what we can do for that is we can easily edit image, remove background, and this will remove the background from the can. You can adjust the crop marks so that they nicely fit around the can and you have an easier selection to work with. There we go. And now you can expand it and you see it is still quite a good quality. So this is how you can create the can mockup in the external tool, Smart Mockups. Now let's look at the next step, which is creating the poster or presentation design. And for that, we're also starting from this page. I'm going to remove the background color because that's a bit too much. Let's scale this one down and let's look for a nice background image for the picture. Go to elements, 
And here we want to type in pedestal because we want to promote our product. Go to photos. And this gives you a lot of options of really nice images where you can put your product on. Let's see if we can find something suitable for our can. I think something fresh will match nicely with the name that we have. So let's see if we can find some brightly colored image. And I think this one will look really nice if we drag it on the slide because we have that blue, which will be a nice contrast. And then also the freshness of the clouds and the light. I think that will work quite well. Add it to the slide, position center back, and then let's place our can in the middle. Scale it up a bit. And this already looks quite good. You can see the contrast really brightens up the design. So that's what we want. Now let's already create a few duplicates. So we're going to hold Control Shift and then drag or Option Shift on a Mac and drag it to the side. This way you create a copy. We're going to scale it down just a bit and then place it behind, maybe a bit larger and then rotate it, let's say 15 degrees. And then we want to place it behind the can. So go to position, layers, and drag it below the middle one. I'm going to Option Shift drag again, drag it 15 degrees to the other side, so minus 15, and then place it on the other side. This way we have kind of a cool effect with the two cans peeking from behind the main one. Now for a can, a soda can, I think a color splash or a water splash will be very nice and bring something dynamic to the picture. So for that, I'm going to the Elements tab, and here I want to look for Water Splash. Click on Graphics to see all, and here you can find quite a lot of splashes. Some of them will look a bit weird if you add them to the slide, so let's try if we can find a realistic one. Ideally, we want a burst of water coming out, so if we add this, it looks a bit strange and fake. That's not what we want. Looking at this, I think this could work. Let's try to scale it down. But for me, this is not intense enough. I think the drops are a bit too large. So let's look further. You can always look in the photo tab as well. So this is some variations that you could use. And maybe we find something here. And I think if we scroll down, I think this one will look quite good. Let's add it to the slide because it really has that burst effect and that spray effect that you get if you open a can. Of course, as you can see, the color is not perfect. It's very blue. So let's see if we can change that. But the positioning, if we position it here on top, that will look very nice in our design. So now let's look at the colors. For that, we go to Edit Image, Adjust, and here we can play around with the different settings. So the brightness, for example, we can turn it all the way up, and this already makes it quite light. Same with the contrast. We can also drag it up to make it white, play around with the highlights and the whites, and this already looks like a fresh spray of water, and it fits and it blends in nicely with the design. Now for the color, because our drink looks to be pink and it also has a lot of grapes in it let's maybe add a small red pinkish tone to it so for that we're going to color edit and adjust that to the more pink side we don't have to do it all the way but i think just slightly increasing it will do the trick and that will make it blend in just that bit extra now let's position it where it belongs so go to position and then drag it underneath the cups hold option shift to create a copy and rotate it slightly you can always flip the design horizontally to have some variation and not the exactly the same splash. Let's copy this one, rotate it, increase this in size, or let's position it slightly different. There we go. This one we can increase, and this one maybe we rotate it just a bit more towards the side. This way we get kind of an organic splash from all sides, and it looks good. Next, we want to add some design elements to the slide, like something from the ingredients. I think that always looks nice. So we go back to the elements tab and here we type in grapes. Now let's see what we can find. I think this entire thing will be a bit too much if we add it to the slide. Maybe on the side it could work, but let's look for some small design elements. So let's scroll down, see if we can find some individual grapes. And these, I think these one look quite nice. They're flying in the air. So if we position them on the design and maybe rotate them, I think that could work. So let's position them here. And also those we want to blend in a little bit better. Now they look a bit dull compared to the brightness of the entire design. So we go to edit image, adjust, and here we can change the temperature. So we make it more towards the pinkish tint and then also increase the brightness. And you can see this already blends in nicely with the light from the design. So that's what we want to achieve. Same with the highlights. We're going to increase it just a bit. There we go. And the colors maybe more towards that's going to be too much. Slightly towards the red side. 
can always reduce the saturation or increase it if it's too much, but I think small increase in saturation, this will look quite good. Now, of course, we want to position this correctly as well, but first let's create a copy, so drag it to the side, rotate it, and then see where it fits. It doesn't have to be exactly the same size. It's grapes, they vary in shapes and sizes, so that doesn't really matter, but I think this positioning is quite a good one. Now let's change some of the layers because now all the grapes are in front. So we go to position again and we drag them somewhere in between the sprays. This way you can see that they sort of disappear from behind one of the sprays. The one in the middle is up front. That gives some cool depth to the slide. Do the same for the other one. Drag it in between. And this looks quite good. Let's hide this one so it doesn't interfere with the splash. So maybe rotate it a bit extra. And let's see if we can find that splash here. So maybe we drag it below. There we go. I think this looks quite good. That way the emphasis is not really on the grapes, but more on the drinks. Now here at the bottom, we can see that the cans, they're just placed on that pedestal, but it doesn't look very realistic. So for that, we can add some shadow. Go to the elements tab, type in shadow, graphics. And here we want to create or click that circular shadow. Reduce it in size and place it below the cans. Somewhere like this position and drag it below the cans. You can drag it almost all the way to the bottom. That way it's out of the way and all the layers are on top. So that's good. It's quite harsh. So I'm going to reduce the transparency to about 50%. This way it's a more subtle touch and it's not very harsh on the slide. Now maybe something for the background because the corners here are quite empty. So let's see if we can find something and I think since we're talking about a fresh drink, something summer vibes, also the atmosphere of the entire campaign or the visual is quite refreshing. So let's maybe look for a shadow of a leaf. So leaves shadow. And this gives these palm tree shadow effects, which I think will fit very well with this design. Let's reduce them in size just a bit and also position and put all the way to the back. It's quite harsh. So also here we're going to reduce transparency Maybe a bit more, so it's just that very subtle touch on the edge of the slide. Let's repeat that, the shadow leaf, graphics, and maybe we take another one for the other side, but a different one, so a single shape in this case. Grab it by the corner, make it smaller, transparency, also reduce that one. And this sort of fills up the design a bit more, so it's not that bland corner that you have, but there's some interesting element adding to the design. Now as a final touch, I think the bottom here still deserves something. So let's add some clouds because we have clouds in the back. So maybe some mist or clouds up front. So let's type in clouds, see what we can find. Graphics, that is good. And let's see what happens if we add one of the clouds. It really adds to that cool breeze effect, especially if you look at the design here or towards the cans. I kind of like that effect. So I'm going to drag two on the slide make it a bit smaller and make it pop from the bottom. That way it also sort of hides the cans that we put in place. So with the shadows, it, it you can cover up quite some harsh angles or details on the slide. If you're not very happy with it, you can sort of cover it up with some clouds or dust. That is always a good trick to use. So let's do it like this. And that way we have our design. Let's preview it on full screen already. And this is already turning out quite nice. And that finishes the design step of this tutorial. Now let's look at the last step, which is the animation part. And that brings us to the fourth step of this tutorial, which is the animation part. So let's start with that one. And for the animation part, I always like to start with a copy so that we have one clear slide finished as it is. And we create a copy that we can work with. So if you have this many layers on your designs, you can always open the position tab and easily select one of the layers. So if you want a specific can, for example, the one to the right, and you can't really grab it with one of the other design elements, you can always click it here and have it selected. So that is a useful trick to know. Let's already group the cans with the spray effect. Let's do that. So here I'm grabbing that one on the left, hold controller command and grab it on the right and press control G to group it. This way we have the three cans with that water spray individual. Now let's drag some of the grapes in between. So we still get that 3D layer effect. Now let's animate the can. So hold, click one of the elements, hold control and click the other ones if you want the same animation. 
Then go to animate and let's see what could work. A rise animation would look quite nice. Pan would also look quite good in this case. A pop for me looks to be a bit too much, but maybe the baseline. If we have those clouds, that could actually work quite well. Or this drift effect, that is also a good one. But I think I'll go for this tectonic effect. I think that blur effect looks quite good. And then the sliding, that looks, that gives some dynamic feel to the slide. So I'll go for the tectonic effect and reduce the intensity to make it just a bit more subtle. Now let's go back to position, grab the grapes. Let's animate those. And I think a pop effect for those would look good. Of course, that is quite intense. So we're going to reduce the speed. So they sort of bounce in at a later time. That looks quite cool. Now, what else do we have on the slide? We have those palm effects, the shadow. I don't think we have to worry about the shadow. Maybe let's put a fade animation that it also nicely blends in. Let's grab those shadow elements, both of them, animate, and they could wipe. Doesn't look realistic. I think the rise or the pan will look cool. And if we select them one by one, so maybe this one here on the left, pan from the left to the right, so it flies into the design. And we do the opposite direction for the other one and reduce the speed. Let's do it like this. Then what we have left is the clouds. So go to position or just select the clouds like this. Animate and I'll go for a baseline effect on the clouds. Reduce the speed so it sort of rises up from the bottom of the design. Now you can always, if you want more of an overview, use this toggle switch here to zoom out a bit or hold the control or control key and scroll backwards. That way if you select all the elements, right click, show timing, you can still adjust it here. It's not the easiest view, but it does work. So if you want some things to pop up at a later pace, for example, the shadow, shadow effects, we can delay them just a bit. Let's select this one. Also drag that one to the side. And let's preview already what we have. So this is quite a cool design, but it starts instantly. So what I'd like to do for that is I duplicate the slide. And on the first version, I kind of get rid of all the elements, except for the background, of course. So we have an empty slide to work with. So that's our second slide in, this, in our case. This is our original, this is our empty one, and this is the animated version. So let's click on the second and preview. And this way we have an empty design. And as soon as we click or transition to the next slide, we get all the elements flying into our design. And this is how you can create this really cool design in four simple steps. First, creating the design of your can. Secondly, adding it as a mock-up to the slide. Thirdly, creating the overall presentation or poster. And then next, animating it for, for example, social media use. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.